Hello, everyone. Welcome to Life Changing Podcast, your favorite podcast for learning English easily and with fun. I'm Jessica, your host, and today we have a special guest with us, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Jessica. I'm really excited to be here today. We're so glad to have you. Today, we're going to talk about something really important building your confidence when speaking English. So, if you feel shy or nervous when speaking, this episode is just for you. Yes, confidence is so important, and we're going to share some simple tips that anyone can use to feel more comfortable speaking English. Before we dive into today's topic, Alex, why don't you tell our listeners a little about yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Alex. I've been teaching English for a few years now, and one thing I've noticed is that many students feel nervous when they speak. I'm really excited to talk about how we can all build confidence in speaking English, even if you're just starting out. That's great. It's good to have you here, Alex. Today's topic is something that I think a lot of our listeners will find very helpful how to build your confidence when speaking English. It's very common to feel shy or nervous when you speak a new language, especially in front of others. Many learners worry about making mistakes or not being understood. But the good news is, with a bit of practice and the right mindset, anyone can improve their confidence and speak more easily. It's all about taking small steps and not being afraid to try. So, if you've ever felt nervous speaking English, don't worry, you're not alone. Alex, what do you think? Do you see this a lot with learners? Absolutely, Jessica. Confidence is key when learning any new language. And we'll be sharing some simple ways you can start feeling more comfortable when speaking. So, Alex, what's one way people can become more confident when they speak English? One thing that helps a lot is practicing every day. Even just five or ten minutes can make a big difference. The more you speak, the more comfortable you become, right? That makes sense. The more you practice, the easier it gets. I think speaking with friends or in a small group is a good way to practice without too much pressure. Do you agree? Definitely. Speaking with friends makes you feel less nervous. It's more fun, too. You're not just focusing on learning, but enjoying a conversation. It's a great way to improve. Yes, it's all about feeling relaxed when you speak. I also think that practicing by yourself can help, like recording your voice and listening to it. What do you think? That's a great idea, Jessica. When you record yourself, you can listen to how you sound, hear any mistakes, and work on improving. It helps you feel more aware of your progress. I love that. It's such a useful way to notice improvement. Another thing I've heard is reading out loud. It's simple, but it helps with both confidence and pronunciation. Exactly. When you read out loud, you're practicing speaking without needing a partner. You can also choose something you enjoy, like a favorite book or article, so it doesn't feel like work. That's a good point. It's important to enjoy the process. Sometimes, people get too focused on doing everything perfectly and forget that learning can be fun. What else can help with confidence? Well, I think joining a language group or an online community is helpful. You get the chance to practice with people at different levels, and it's a safe space to make mistakes and learn from them. Yes, that's a great idea. When you're in a group, you see that everyone makes mistakes. It helps you feel less afraid of speaking. You realize that making mistakes is just part of learning. Exactly. The more you practice with others, the more natural it becomes. And it's okay to start with short, simple sentences. It's better to speak a little than to stay silent out of fear. That's so true. Even saying a few words is a step forward. And I think it's also important to focus on the progress you're making, not just the mistakes. Yes, noticing progress is key. It can be something small, like pronouncing a word correctly, but it builds confidence. And when you notice these improvements, it motivates you to keep going. Exactly. Positive reinforcement is really important. I've also heard that watching videos in English or listening to podcasts can help with building confidence. What's your take on that? Absolutely. When you watch videos or listen to podcasts, you're exposed to natural English. You get to hear how people really speak. It's great for getting used to the rhythm of the language. Yes, 
and it can also help with learning new words and phrases. The more you hear, the more comfortable you become with the language, and you start to understand how to use words in real conversations. Exactly. Plus, when you listen or watch something, you can repeat what you hear. This repetition helps build muscle memory in your mouth, so speaking English becomes easier over time. That's a great point. I also think that starting with short conversations is helpful. Trying to have a full conversation in English can feel overwhelming, but starting small is less scary. Yes, start with a few sentences or phrases. Maybe order something in a cafe or ask a question in English. These small wins make you feel more confident to try longer conversations later. Right, it's about taking small steps. The key is not to rush, but to build confidence gradually. And what about setting goals, Alex? Do you think setting small language goals helps? Definitely. Setting small, realistic goals gives you something to work towards. Maybe your goal is to learn five new words each week, or to speak for five minutes a day. It keeps you motivated. I agree. Goals give you a clear direction and something to celebrate when you achieve them. Do you think rewarding yourself after reaching a goal can help build confidence too? Absolutely, rewards are a great motivator. When you reach a goal, treat yourself. It could be something small like watching your favorite show or buying a snack. It makes the process more enjoyable. Yes, it's important to make learning enjoyable. Learning English doesn't have to be stressful. The more positive experiences you have, the more confident you'll feel when you speak. Exactly. And speaking of positive experiences, I think trying to speak in different situations also helps. Even if it's just asking for directions or ordering food, it builds real-world confidence. That's a great tip. The more you use English in everyday life, the more natural it will feel. Do you think practicing with a language partner is also a good idea? Yes, having a language partner is really helpful. You can practice together regularly, and it's more motivating when you have someone to share your progress with. You learn from each other too. Yes, that's true. It's also nice because you're both learning, so there's less pressure. Do you think it's important to focus on speaking naturally instead of worrying about perfect grammar? Absolutely. It's better to focus on communicating your message than getting every word perfect. People understand that you're learning, and as long as you're clear, that's what matters most. That's a great point. Communication is more important than perfection. I think sometimes we get too focused on saying everything correctly, but the main goal is to be understood, right? Exactly. Mistakes are part of learning. The more you speak, the more you'll improve naturally. But if you wait until you're perfect, you might never speak. Just give it a try and keep learning. That's so true. So to sum it up. Confidence in speaking English comes from practicing regularly, focusing on small steps, and not being afraid of making mistakes. Would you add anything, Alex? I'd say the most important thing is to keep going, even if it feels hard at first. Every bit of practice helps. Confidence grows over time, so be patient and celebrate your progress. Great advice. So remember, everyone, speaking English confidently is a journey. Keep practicing, stay positive, and don't be afraid to speak up. You've got this. Yes, you can do it. The more you practice, the more confident you'll feel. Just take it one step at a time. So let's take a moment to review the key points we've discussed today. We talked about some really helpful tips to build confidence when speaking English. First. Practicing every day is one of the best ways to feel more comfortable, even if it's just for a few minutes. Speaking regularly helps you get used to using the language. That's right, Jessica. Regular practice makes a big difference. And remember, you don't have to do it all alone. Speaking with friends or a language partner is a great way to make it fun and less stressful. Plus, it's a relaxed way to improve your conversation skills. Exactly. Speaking with others really helps build confidence, and if you don't have someone to practice with, you can try recording yourself. It's a great way to hear your own progress and work on areas that need improvement. Yes, recording yourself is very helpful. You get to listen to how you sound and make small adjustments over time. Also, don't forget to read out loud. Reading out loud helps with pronunciation and gives you more confidence when you speak. That's a great tip, Alex. Reading out loud is simple but powerful. 
It lets you practice speaking without needing anyone else. Plus, it helps you get comfortable with the sound of your own voice in English. Exactly. And another important thing we mentioned is starting with short conversations. You don't have to dive into long talks right away. Begin with small steps. Maybe order something in a cafe or say hello to someone. Every little bit helps build confidence. Yes, starting small is key. Even short conversations are a step in the right direction. And we also talked about setting small, realistic goals, like learning a few new words every week or speaking for a few minutes each day. These small goals add up over time and keep you motivated. Absolutely. Setting small goals makes the learning process more manageable and gives you something to celebrate as you progress. And rewarding yourself for reaching those goals is a great way to stay positive and motivated. Yes, it's important to stay positive and enjoy the process. Learning English doesn't have to be stressful. Remember to celebrate your small wins and focus on progress, not perfection. Exactly. And as we said earlier, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are just part of the learning process, and the more you speak, the better you'll get over time. That's a great reminder. So, to summarize, practice regularly, speak with friends, read out loud, start small, set realistic goals, and don't be afraid of mistakes. Confidence will come with time and effort. Yes, and remember to have fun while learning. The more you enjoy it, the more confident you'll feel. Keep practicing and don't give up. You're doing great. Absolutely. Building confidence in speaking English is a journey, but every step you take brings you closer to your goal. So keep going, everyone. You've got this. Thank you so much, Alex, for sharing these great tips with us today. It was really helpful, and I'm sure our listeners learned a lot. Thanks, Jessica. I had a great time talking about building confidence in English. And thank you, everyone, for listening to Life Changing Podcast. We hope today's episode helps you feel more confident when you practice speaking English. Remember, the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become. Don't forget to practice your English every day, whether it's with friends, reading out loud, or even recording yourself. You've got this. And in our next episode, we'll talk about improving your English vocabulary. So stay tuned and see you next time. Mm -hmm.